Hello everyone, and welcome back to La Mola Natu. I'm Rania Kuma, and Dark is here with me as usual to watch me suffer and die and all of that. Yeah, not the usual. Yeah. And our last left off, we have enough to fight a boss. Technically, two bosses. Because we unlocked the one in the endless battlefield thanks to the dinosaur figure. And we got Freight Ship. Because, um. I don't know. Good reasons. Why else? Yeah. It's a boat. The Guardian Cuyata was set upon Anofin by Talocapala, only to be sealed by an ang at the Alf Seer's Se hands. Hmm. I'm more surprised that we hadn't actually read that one yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, it did be like that. <laughs> I got the wrong entrance. <laughs> Whoops. I should have just checked the upper one first anyway. <laughs> Probably. Good to know that I can just casually get Lemon Syndrome. Pretty <laughs> sure if I already bought everything that was up, up there, so... Let's just start out with the boss fight, because what could... Because what could possibly go wrong? At least I'm pretty sure I'm not technically supposed to have the chain whip yet. Because this is the third boss. Hey, and now there's a ship! Yay! You may need it. May is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> and this is the ship that the dwarves said was shit. <laughs> Like, it's got an engine. I mean, what kind of ancient ship is this? Details. Also, hello, That's Puyata. An angry cow. Yeah, having the chain wheel certainly helps. Alright, it's going off in the background. You might notice that the HP bar hasn't moved at all. That's because it's kinda stage based. The fact that it's yellow means it's currently working through a second health bar. And it will just mm. change colors rather than go down. Well then. The, the last purple bar is the only one that really goes down. Sounds about right. To be risky, didn't I? <laughs> oh, what else have we come to expect from you? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Miss beat a boss at the first try? Ha! Ah. Alright, I should probably actually hop on. <laughs> yeah, you might want to do that. Yeah, I possibly. fear it might help. Not dying tends to be a useful thing, yes. Stop. 
an angry cow. Follow this. How do we fit? How do we basically fight things so dumb like that? Is? No, Zormagros is a big volcano turtle thing. You're right. So it's also I... a whole. It's also a whole lot more entertaining as a concept. So the no, you're is, isn't bovine enough. No, I'd say uh, you're fighting like a super-sized Pokemon. I don't know which one, but you're totally fighting a super-sized Pokemon. Yeah, it will surprise me. Alright, now for the difficult part. Don't get killed! You stood still for that one. Yeah, I didn't see the laser from the other eye that was coming in. No excuse. Also, I never, part I never particularly liked that this boss and I might have used the gun the first time, so I don't remember that well how to fight it. <laughs> well then. I mean, Suffer. I, I remember how to fight it, I just don't remember the patterns very well. Well, I'm glad I could be here to be entertained with your suffering. Yeah, it's fine. Of, of the various bosses, this was definitely the one we needed to do anyway. Mostly because I remember what we actually get out of it. Hmm. It's a very important thingy. I imagine. Now you just need to be less of a do of a Thomas in phase two and we should be fine. <laughs> Be less of a dumbass, you say, as you stand in several attacks. There we go. 
That was a little close there. Yeah, sorry, I uh, got very quiet. <laughs> I was just staring at you as you kind of jumped into several of those. I'm like, are you okay there? Guess which of the three stages was the one I chased with the gun? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <clears throat> no ball for you! Damn. Technically, just folded back up, he's still there. <laughs> Not even, but I mean. Hey, watch out for the asshole with the thunder rod. And yes, now we have the jet pillar! Yay! Now we can actually use those mantras. Yup. Speaking of which, there's one nearby. Speaking of asshole monkeys, awesome. Oh, hey, I fixed the angel. I put it back in its usual shop. Research system chip, you know. Oh, now the other shop has uh, another angel. Hmm. That's the mimic. It's gonna keep going down. Over here. Yeah, remember how the guy had said that the boss of Mimir was a place for uh, mantras? Sure. Also, the golden rock keeps the crystal from ascending to heaven. It will pass to the hand with the mark of life. H have I actually shown you the golden rock yet? I, I don't remember. Have I? Dark? Uh, I, I, lo I lost for everything for a second there as my computer. Crashed. Well then, have I actually shown you the golden rock? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll be going there soon. Either way. Uh, the the T for that was on, I think, on that tablet over there. But yeah, this is why I didn't buy the normal shield. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, speaking of the golden rock, let's go see it! Alright, I need to go around. Oh, we also haven't seen that tablet. Over the one... Okay, I guess we, we should probably fix them. Wait! Totally, always need those. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely always need those. What's up? Wait. That's the candlestick of time. It looks different from the one in La Mulena. So, if you could carry its flame, you would have the power to stop time. To carry it, you'll need the Lamp of Time Rally. If there's a candlestick of time in Eglena, then there must be a Lamp of Time there, here too. Anyway, this doesn't matter right now. It's best to remember things that don't matter now for later, you know? Indeed. This is the thing we get more time with. Next time. But first, you who would stop time, light will be bestowed on you if you prove you have the power worthy of it. Yeah, we pretty much already have a bigger clue as to where the lamp of time is, but we can't actually get it. The Vanir who sought to destroy the Great Mother's world, exiled to this land, the branches of Eglana. Wherein they were sealed. The Vanir must not be awakened. They're, they are the negative counterparts we built up. Mm. I'm just gonna save a wait. I need more ways. I should have bought more at the shop above ground. 
Let this be a lesson to you. Better safe than sorry. I know that feeling, alright. Oh, hey. Need hog acquired. Hmm. We're only missing like two entries somewhere over here. Nidhog. <laughs> His drop coins. That's it. Well, yeah, it's a minibus. The colossal Maybe. black dragon with an oddly manufactured appearance who dwells at the roots of Yggdrasil. According to legend, he communicates the state of the war root, state of the roots to Radiska, servant of race Vogar who resides at Eglana's treetop. His massive frame and fire-based attacks boost immense power. Those who cannot match such power shouldn't attempt to challenge him. Yeah, that's why my attempt to challenge him was don't get hit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yay, we did a thing. The Seeking Blue Light Sears Flesh. Project on life. Cold Steel Alone might pass on skate. We can the muted already, but oh well. Oh, wait. Shortcut! And there's the golden rock. Yeah, literal golden. Oh, uh, yeah, I have seen that. The golden rock stores the power of the stars. Yeah, no shit. Oh, so that's why a bunch of bodies were lying around here. You only live once. That's why I made the track up here. I don't realize what it really means. Never thought that could be so educational. Word to the wise, don't destroy the column. But this one? Also word to the wise, don't hit the golden rock. You didn't have to do that, but okay. need to manually deactivate to deactivate it because now you can technically do multiple of them at once. I thought it was heaven here. Maybe it was just earth after all. Yeah, I guess it was just earth as well. Damn it. Don't break the column. Technically have to. <laughs> Can't you just, you know, throw something at it? Uh, it, when it falls, it covers the entire area. I'm just gonna read those, open the shortcut, and then, you know, save to make sure I can do this fine. I saved. I know you're supposed to just do it quickly with the knife, but you know, I didn't properly stand 
on the platform I needed to stand on. So, you know, that, that doesn't really help. Hmm. I still need the other <laughs> seal to mm -hmm. open that now that I think about it, but hey, it's open now. Yeah. So, speaking of the boss of Mimir. Traps and mechanisms don't even bother with the whole post of Mimir thing, so watch out. Which is basically another way of saying uh, there are places that require a mantra that won't have a post of Mimir. Alright, hmm. this is what I need the Heaven Mantra for. Touch the spiral in light, it will burn anything not born of this land to cinders. Just gonna save here. What a good idea. Yup, that took me a while to find the first time. Got that <laughs> Shiva sits in the heavens from which he drops the light that burns the land below. Vishnu sits in the heavens from which he watches the land below. The two gods fall from heaven over an old conflict, leaving behind Brahma who is relocated to one of Jigrasil's branches. The primeval entity of many heads and arms who watches over this world on his creation, of his creation. Right, um, well, I did do the safe thing, so... The temple is very useful. Oh. See? Very useful! <laughs> Quite! Vanir spoke of bottomless wand, of what is known as fire. Those who seek must speak the name of Felder. Yay! I wonder, does this work? Not very useful right now, but hey, once we can cross over that thing, it will be useful, right? Oh well, we got some progress. Yeah. Let's go visit the shop. The first one. It's almost like we're about to need it. 
I think. I don't quite remember whether we need a golden key. Well, if we do, um, I'm sure we'll find something else to do. Guess we'll find out. Huh? Mm. Mm. D-line friends, gotta love them. So only two messages. It's me, I'm checking out the Immortal Battlefield. It's super big and it's a total maze. The walls in the back are divide divided into red and blue areas. Looks like you can't enter the blue area yet. There might be a gate somewhere that leads there. A lot of paths are closed, closed off by various me mechanisms, so try walking around as much as possible to find the best way to progress. It's me, I'm in the Immortal Battlefield. I come down to the very bottom. bottom. There's lava and it's super hot down here. But there's a path that leads further down past the, this lava area. It looks like it will take you to a different area altogether. If you're found with lava, then it should be traversable. Ah, uh, lava. Not a problem, right? Yeah, is she back here? Okay then. Mild lesbian vibes going on here. Mild. Let's see what else she's got to say. You know, in her sleep. <laughs> A cup angst. Anything new? Uh, no. Nah, just those two. For now. That's funny. You. All right. No, that's not it. That's why we need to open that chest. No like your mother stuff I opened it now, but oh uh, well. Seer's Prophecy, Part 1! Sound fills the air, Heimdall blows his horn, Yggdrasil sh shakes, a screech winds from the towering ancient tree, the Jotun are unleashed, Heimdall does not sleep, he keeps vigilant watch even through the night as the end encroaches. Dun dun dun! And there's the ink. But first, Oh, um. First, a message. What a big mirror, wow. There was something like this in La Mulana too. There was a guardian seal, sealed in there. Yeah, I know! Oh boy. The mirror looks similar too. It looks like some sort of vehicle. What's it holding in its right hand? Some sort of controller? No, maybe it's a key for working the vehicle. So yeah, I guess we do need the golden key. Good excuse to leave. Dead end. Or is it? We. Save point. And with that, I hope you'll have fun. And we'll see you next time in Amulet 2, where we try to find the golden key, I guess. Lighters!